This video is sponsored by World of Warship, a naval shooter free-to-play game. This is the fifth generation Sukhoi 57, or some called this, the T-50 pack fighter jet, which is a Russian internal designation. What is a fifth generation fighter jet? On paper, the Russian engineers define a fifth generation fighter jet as one that can do all of these. Go 80% supersonic cruise without using afterburner. While fifth generation jets like this one could achieve only 80% subsonic speed. It should have stealth or low probability of intercept radar. It should have a high degree of maneuverability to counter air-to-air -air combat. Advanced avionic systems. And network or data fusion capabilities to track 100 targets and engage more than 10 targets. The fifth-gen aircraft should be able to carry a number of projectiles in the internal weapon bay, as well as an autocannon. And last but not the least it should be able to land and take off on short runways. The Navy version of the Sukhoi 57 was also designed for this Russian aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, which is Russia's sole aircraft carrier, is now slated to return to service post-2024. Speaking of aircraft carriers, the sponsor of today's video have you covered with World of Warships, a naval shooter free-to-play game available for PC. Conquer the oceans aboard battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, or cruisers, and if the depths call to you, dive in with the submarines. It's got new content released every month. Whether it be new ships, in-game nations, cosmetics, or even ship classes, you can always count on enjoying fresh gameplay experiences in World of Warships massive arenas. You can play as a lone wolf or in a division with your friends. Oh, did we mention this game is also available on consoles. Play to win, from November 15th through December 13th. World of Warships is running a treasure hunt where you can earn in-game and real-life prizes just for playing the game and inviting your friends. Use the promo code BRAVO to get some exclusive rewards for free with the link in the description below. Now, we all know the F-35 stealth fighter jet and the F-22 air superior aircraft cost around $80 million and $110 million respectively. Whereas the Sukhoi 57 cost was reported to cost around $30 million, but we believe the exact number would be around $60 million. But for now, let us dive into the hidden areas of this beautiful engineering. Inside this nose is an X-band on board active array radar system. This bad boy have a detection range of over 400 km and is capable of tracking up to 60 targets and engaging up to 16 targets simultaneously using the internal weapon system. This is the infrared search and tracking object. This method is for detecting and tracking objects which give off infrared radiation such as infrared signatures. Moving to the side is the GS-301 ship nov gun which is internally mounted. It has an ammunition load of 150 rounds with a rate of fire at 1500 rounds per minute, meant for a dogfight and light armored targets. Moving ahead we have the cockpit that is not only bulletproof, but has 10 layers of radio-absorbing materials painted on it. Let's have a look inside it. The pilot will receive maximum automation of the routine piloting and combat use process. It is also reported that the pilot, after taking off and before the landing approach, may not even fly at all, but search and attack targets. Now let us move behind the cockpit and look at this circular bulging object. This is the missile sensor that alerts the pilot when there is an incoming missile. Moving to both sides of the left guns. The primary reason for adding an extension is to improve the airflow at high angles of attack and low air speeds to improve handling and delay the stall. The first aircraft to use it was the Sukhoi Pak FA-50, and the second one will be the LCA Tejas Navy variant. These are the leading edge flap. It works by increasing the lift through a combination of increased wing area through the influence of the flow with the aid of the slat. This is the ailerons which are a primary flight control surface which control movement about the longitudinal axis of an aircraft. Just besides the ailerons are the flaperons. These are control surfaces on the wing of an aircraft that help to stabilize the plane, low speed flying during takeoff and landing. These are the horizontal stabilizer which prevents an up and down motion of the nose which is called pitch. These are the vertical stabilizers which keeps the nose of the plane from swinging from side to side, which is called yaw. These are the thrust vectoring nozzles which gives the aircraft super maneuverability, useful for aerial dogfights. This can be performed only through thrust vectoring. 
This is a cobra maneuver as it resembles a snake, then it performs the J turn. This technique can be compared to an escaped turn. Barrel roll. This can help a defender to force an attacker, who is usually behind the defender, to fly out in front, called overshooting. And the most common is the jaw-dropping stunt also seen in Top Gun Maverick, is the Pugachev Cobra, while some analysts believed it's called the Culture Bell Maneuver. The fighter jet is currently powered by Izdali 117 or the augmented turbofans. Future production batches will be equipped with the new Izdali 30 engines. Thanks to the improved aerodynamics, Sukhoi Su-57 can cruise at a speed of up to Mach 2 without the use of afterburners. It can achieve a range of up to 3,500 kilometers while traveling at subsonic speeds. All of this supersonic speed is possible because of these massive fuel tanks on each side of the wing meant to carry around five internal fuel tanks. Now let us look on paper why the Russian engineers called this a stealth fighter jet. First of all, it is because of this airframe shape. Secondly, the special coating of the canopy. Thirdly, the paint job on certain element of the Sukhoi 57. You might also ask what about the exposed engine compared to the F-22 Raptor. According to the Russian engineers, this is solved by the non-afterburning Super Cruise, which was one of the requirements for a fifth-generation fighter jet. This allows the jet to have a very small infrared signature. Let us move to the two internal weapon bays and two small triangular section weapon bays that protrude under the fuselage near the wing route. Internal carriage of weapons preserves the aircraft's stealth and significantly reduces aerodynamic drag, thus preserving kinematic performance compared to performance with external stores. It was reported to carry as many as eight or four R-77M. This is a Russian active radar homing beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile, Vimpel R-77 missile need a reporting name, AA-12 Adder. It can achieve Mach 4 speed and reported to have a range of 5 to 25 km. The missile carries a massive 22.5 kg high explosive warhead. The Vimpel Design Bureau said that the R-77 missile can be used against medium and long-range air-to-air missiles such as the AIM-120 Amram and AIM-54 Phoenix, as well as surface-to-air missiles such as the Patria. Under these two small triangular section weapon bays houses the reported new Izalai 300M. The new Izalai 300 was expected to include a new imaging infrared seeker that would have enabled targets to be acquired twice as far away as compared to the original R-73. This would imply a maximum seeker range of 19 to 24 km. All of this is possible because of the improved radar which is stated to provide a detection range of 200 kilometers for a head-on target with up to 60 targets tracked and six of those engaged at any one time. It wouldn't be honest of us if we did not talk about its advantages and disadvantages in comparison to the F-35 jet or F-22 Raptor. The Sukhoi 57 will have better weapon payload and range advantages because of its size compared to the F-35. Considering its designs, it will have a kinematic advantage against the F-35. It has a lower wing loading and a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. The Sukhoi 57 can supercruise at a speed of up to Mach 2 without the use of afterburners. The F-35, while not technically a supercruising aircraft, can maintain Mach 1.2 speed. Let's move to its disadvantages. There are doubts about how stealthy it will be. While the S-35 jet has more technological advances in stealth technology, like the visuals presented here, it does not have stall or short takeoff and vertical landing in comparison to the F-35 jet. Speculation are that the software suite of the Sukhoi 57 are not as good as the F-35. As you can see, the F-35 electric suite, as well as the 360-degree field of view, might have a slight advantage against its counterparts. These are still speculations, so for more updated 3D animated video made from scratch, just do us a solid and smash the subscribe button to help us produce more videos like these.